KSI, one of the greatest YouTubers to be alive in my opinion. He's done so much from this, all the way to Lamborghini, all the way to this, selling out Wembley Stadium. And now he releases his documentary. Documentary we're going through so much, and today I'm going to review it and say what I think of this documentary. I think it was a great documentary off that. You can really tell that there's a lot of time put into it. The editing alone, like I'm going to try to show clips as much as I can, but like as you can see there's so much editing put into it. The amount of time put into it was great, and you can really see that KSI and Amazon didn't like half arse it or put like minimal effort in. They really put a lot into it. The other part I think is really good is the fact they didn't just focus on the fact KSI bought his massive mansion. There was real detailed storylines in it. For example, in my opinion, there were two main storylines. Uh, family and KSI's dad and, De and Deji, etc. That whole arc and whole relationship. So KSI and his dad, how it was abusive, and they had this talk out, as you can see. It's one of the most emotional scenes. And you really feel it in this moment. I'm very sorry, the dog's barking. As you can really feel it in this moment, and it's amazing. And then, there's also Deji and his loss, and the talk KSI has with Deji after the loss. Before he then makes the infamous video about Deji. Deji also speaks on the beef between KSI, Randolph, Deji, and how that all those arguments started. So that's also spoken about in this, which I think is really good. The other thing is, KSI and his girlfriend, as they split up between it, the song You gets taken on and off the album. It's insane. And there was actually a leak in there about a new album coming out. So I wonder if it's still going to be the same album. It was something about, like, you feel like you want to get back with that person, but you don't know if you just want to focus on yourself yet. And it has come to an ending because he did get back with her. So it would be the per it would be amazing to release that album now that he's back with her. I think it would be really interesting. Obviously, we did get to see his girlfriend. We don't know who she is, but we know she works in normal 9 to 5. And we, we know you're never going to find out who she is, be real. So there were some side storylines. It was KSI and his businesses were slightly in there. Deji's boxing career and KSI's boxing career was also in there a bit, as well as KSI's music, all which was featured on pretty well. We got that scene with KSI, the managers, and just everyone chilling out in the studio. I think there could have been more. As I was actually quite, which I think were all featured well. But however, I did really want to see the behind the scenes of the Wembley show. As I know that was a huge show, and that was something I really wanted to see. So, continue. There was a bit more stuff that wasn't included, sadly, in my opinion. So I do want to go through this, however, it is minimal stuff, and considering how long this documentary was, how many good parts there was, this is just stuff I think could have been cooler about it, and stuff that confused me. So there wasn't much sidemen, or troops, at all. We saw Randolph in a few shots, we saw SX in a f quite a few shots. But, I find it weird, especially when, so KSI JJ, he obviously leaves, uh, mini minutes, leaves Simon's mini minutes house, it ends up being like a three second clip of car park. Saying KSI leaves a part which he shares with fellow Cyber member. That really confused me why it wasn't shown. And the other mention of the Cyberman was a bit longer. It was the footage from the Cyberman promo video this year. They showed a slight behind the scene of it, but they didn't show much behind the scene. Which really interested me. I thought there would have been a lot more there. That was really confusing for me. I think the Cyber Friends should have been included more. The community KSI has a strong one, showing all the, like, his fans and how they were family like JJ. Like, it made sense, it made like they were a family with JJ, but the sidemen, the troops, and the friends should have been included, in my opinion. And the one, the reason I think they should have been included, because I think it would have led to a really good story arc, is when they were at Wembley, you could see, the shot they had, I could see Elam, the back of Elam's head, and I could recognise it was Elam. And, if you, and like, if you look at all these clips, they were all together that day. They were all watching KSI and JJ, they were all so proud of him. And you could see that was the crowd, but for some reason they just didn't go up close and interview them. I think it could have been such a powerful moment having them all shown together. With JJ and his family, Randolph, all of them, they've all made up. It would have been such a powerful moment, because we do know that makeup has happened at the end of the day. And it also didn't show any of the BTSs behind the scenes of business or even discussion. So I thought there would have been like a clip of like a prime debate. Like, what should we do? Maybe a... Like, maybe in the core of sides and in the core of XAX being made. And it was around the time it was being made because we see the promos and stuff being made for it. But there was no BTS for that. But I'm guessing that's due to the fact it has to be in other people's and stuff like that. But yeah, minus those few gripes, I think it was an amazing documentary. The idea alone of a YouTube documentary is genius. And I really, really hope Amazon continue it further. And I might even make it like a short video, maybe a short series on the top 10 YouTubers I think should have their own Amazon documentary because I think this KSI one's hopefully done really well so yeah I think it should be something that's done again 
Overall, I give this an error rating of 8.9 out of 10. Amazing cinematography, spectacular storyline. There were there were a few sorry, dogs just jumped on top of me. There were a few missing aspects, but apart from that, it was amazing, amazing edited, amazing all around. So, 8.9 out of 10.